management, housekeeping, among courses. Support our training programs by sponsoring a needy student at St. Therese Vocational Training. Send your eight account name or to St. Therese Training Center number zero two two zero five zero one nine two zero seven two two three zero zero three seven nine three zero nine five nine three four whoever and he will indeed proverbs chapter nine seven Support will highly appreciate. Good morning and uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, today. You live uh, from uh, the formation house of uh, in as the capital. A great day. They are said to celebrate two uh, civilies and the perpetual relations. And I'm joined by it is here for uh, the chance like to know what does it entail here to candidate uh, making vows to this uh, God and uh, you are going to, going to speak English and so I like him to explain to Swahili because he have this and Kenyans nakusalimu asante kwa kuzanasi leze kia hapa ni hatua gani unachukua nyinyi malezi kuhakikisha kwamba mna kwa maganio ya sasa ni katika formation ya wakapuchini tuna formation initial formation how are undergoing formation so wali kama miaka sisi wakapuchini watu na miaka minne kwanza pointi na halafu waweke dhiri za kwanza halafu waendelee na masomo Sofia kwa hivyo hawa ndugu wanaweka na dhiri zao za maisha leo wengine wamekaa wamekaa miaka sita miaka miaka sita, kwa sababu ya the formation process kwa hivyo leo tunashukuru sana kwa wao wanaweka na dhiri za maisha hiyo process na tunashukuru na tatu ambao wanaweka na dhiri zao za maisha ndio na mnachukua hatua gani au ni maadili gani ambayo mnazingatia kabla muhakiki or you clear the candidates uh, to be uh, to take the profession kwanza kabisa sisi tuna, tuna katika constitution namba 24 mm. roho mtakatifu ndiye ambaye ni fometa wa kwanza mm. wengine tunawaandamana mm. na tunaangama ma, ma, ya kikristo tunaona tunajua kwamba sote tunatafuta falme tutembee kama wa nao basi ile cha kwanza kabisa tunaangalia ile waweze kuwa wakristo ndio waweze kuishi udogo wa ndugu Francisco aliyotaka mwenyewe tukaweze kuishi ndio ndio sasa kwa hivyo leo hii mnahisi vipi nyinyi kama walezi kumaanisha kwamba ni idadi kubwa zaidi ya wale ambao wanatoa nadhiri zao za maisha leo kubwa sana kwa sababu leo shirika letu linaandikisha uh, 13 ambao ni watano kutoka Zimbabwe na wanane kutoka Kenya na sisi tuna furaha sana kwa sababu tunaona kwamba kazi ya Kristu inafanyika kwa sababu watenda kazi ni wachache basi tunamshukuru Mungu kwa hilo na tunaomba azidi ili tukatumikia kanisa lake kando na hiyo nadhiri za daima pia tunao wanaosherekea miaka 25 ya upadri je kama nyinyi 
ndugu wa Capuchin. Hili linamaanisha nini katika shirika lenu? Naona ni hatua kubwa kwa sababu hiyo ni kumaanisha shirika letu hapa Kenya limekuwa na hawa ndugu ni kati ya wale wa kwanza kwanza na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ameweza kuwaweka na hao ndugu ni kielelezo kwetu katika maisha haya ya upadri. Nasi pia basi tunaomba angalau tuweze kufika hata kama sio 25 basi angalau kumi wengine wetu Naombea Mwenyezi Mungu mfikie hapo. Asante, Asante sana. Na sijunge waambia nini hawa ndugu wawili uh, Padri Njoroge na Padri Jebedo. Ningependa kuwapongeza sana mm. na tunawaombea ili waweze kufikia hata miaka hamsini ya, kum, ya kumtumikia Kristo. Mm. Nao watuombe sisi ambao tuko nyuma yao mm. ili nasi angalau tukaweze kuwafikia hayo malengo ambayo Mungu mwenyewe ametupangia katika maisha yetu. Uh-huh. Asante sana. Thank you very much my God for speaking to us. All right. That is uh, the formator here in the Langata Formation House of uh, the Order of Franciscan Miners, the Capuchins. Uh, and as you can see, this is just the procession to start today's uh, celebration. And it's being, uh, it will be officiated by uh, uh, Reverend Father Arnold Shirima, who is uh, the custodial minister of uh, this congregation, the Catholic congregation. Just to remind you, uh, we have uh, uh, 13 brothers, uh, so you had who are set to make their perpetual vows and we have uh uh, this is Brother Peter Okoma. We have Brother Kevin Malimo, Nkonsana Edward Siwela. We have Brother Mukuli Calvin. We have uh, Claudius Chitaure, Lawrence Munyao, Victor Nyaoke, Amon Matipeza. We have Tasisias Mukombe, Paul Imai, Alex Ndua, Stephen Opio. Brian Hamasi and the two who will be celebrating Silver Jubilee are Reverend Father Charles Njoroge and Reverend Father Francis Jebedo. My name is Sasha Elizabeth and uh, the choir which is uh, singing today is made up of uh, the Sisters of Demesis, the Postlands and Novices and the brothers are uh, the Franciscan brothers OFM, uh, the Capuchins. And remember today's uh, first reading will be read by Andrew Mendoa who is a Franciscan Franciscan brother. The second reading will be read by Patrick Mwale, who is a brother uh, to Brother Lawrence, a member of the Franciscan Capuchins. The gospel will be in Swahili. This, the first reading will be in Swahili. The psalm, the second will be in English, and the gospel will be in Swahili. The homily will be a mixture of the two because, as I mentioned before, there are brothers from Zimbabwe and Kenyan brothers who are professing today their perpetual vows, consecrating their lives to forever serve God and humanity. My name is Sasha Elizabeth and I have a whole team of uh, the Capuchin TV crew. We will be camping here and update you as and when the information unfolds. Mungu ni mwema kati wakati mungu ni mwema basi eh tumekusanya hapa asubuhi hii ya leo kwa ajili ya sherehe za kuweka nadhiri za daima za ndugu zetu 13 pamoja na sherehe za miaka 25 za upadri za ndugu wetu wawili basi ningependa kumita mhudumu wa jumuiya yetu hii 
ya hapa langata ili aweze kutukaribisha sote katika sherehe na ibada hii ya misa na pia aweze e, kumwalika muhudumu wetu wa shirika ili aweze kutuongoza katika ibada hii ya misa Mwema kila wakati langu ni kualika ni nyonya hapa nyote hapa tukiogozwa na mkuu wetu wa shirika dugu Arnold pamoja na ndugu wote ambao wanaweka nadhiri za daima na wale wengine ambao wanasherekea miaka 25 na wazazi wote na wengine wote wamealikwa karibuni kwetu ili tuweze kusherekea pamoja na wao na tuweze kuwazidikisha kwenye nia zao za maisha ya kitawa karibu sana ndugu yetu na mkuu wetu wa shirika ndugu Shirima kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina bwana wena ni siku ya furaha kwetu ndugu wadogo wa kapuchini tunapo ungana na ndugu zetu kumi na watatu wanaoweka na dhiri zao za daima na pia tunapoungana na ndugu zetu wawili wanaosherehekea miaka yao mitano ya upadri kumtumikia Mungu tunatolea nia hizi katika altare hii tukiwaombea ndugu zetu Mungu awabariki na kuwaongezea afya bora na nguvu ya kuendelea kumtumikia tunajiombea pia sisi wenyewe Mungu awabariki maisha yetu awabariki kazi zetu na tuongezee amani katika nchi yetu hasa katika tunapoelekea kipindi hiki cha uchaguzi tuweze kuchagwana kwa amani na tuweze pia kuishi kwa amani na ili sadaka yetu ipendeze machoni pake Mwenyezi Mungu sisi wote ni wakosefu tumemkosea Mungu na tumewakosea wengine tuombe huruma ya Mungu tujute dhambi zetu Na muungamia Mungu mwenyezi nanyi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria inheri bikira daima malaika na watakatifu wote Nanyi ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu. Mungu mwenyezi aturumie, atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele.
Mungu jumbinguni Tamani kote duniani watu wenye mapenzi mema tunakusifu sifa tunakusifu shimu tukwa wadu sisi tunakutukuza tunakusifu sifa tunakusifu
na ule ya hede kutufanya kikamele foto we wanao wa urete utujali sisi watu mishi wako tusikilize sauti ya mwanao mpenzi na hivi to style kufanywa warithi pamoja naye ana yeyeshi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu mungu da imana milele Somo la kwanza Somo katika kitabu cha nabii Danieli Mimi nilitanzama hata viti vya enzi vikawekwa na mmoja aliye mzee wa siku ameketi 
Mavazi yake yalikuwa meupe kama theluji na nywele za kichwa chake kama sufu safi. Kiti chake cha enzi kilikuwa miali ya moto na gurudumu zake moto wakao. Mto wa kama wa moto ukatoka ukapita mbele zake. Maelfu elfu wakamtumikia. Na elfu kumi mara elfu kumi wakasimama mbele zake. Hukumu ikawekwa na vitabu vikafunuliwa. Nikaona katika jonzi za usiku na tazama mmoja aliyemfano wa mwanadamu akaja pamoja na mawingu ya mbingu akamkaribia huyo mzee wa siku wakamleta karibu naye. Naye akapewa mamlaka na utukufu na ufalme ili watu wote wa kabila zote na taifa zote na lugha zote wakamtumikie mamlaka yake ni mamlaka ya milele ambayo haitapita kamwe na ufalme wake ni ufalme usioweza kuangamizwa neno la bwana
Second reading from the book of Second Peter, chapter 1, from verses 16 to 19. We heard this voice born from heaven. A reading from the book, a reading from the second letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was born to him by the majestic glory, this is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. We heard this voice born from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain, and we, and we have the prophetic word made more sure. You will do well to pay attention to this, as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns, and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. pendezwa naye msikie ni yeye Hallelujah, 
katika injili ilivyo andikwa na Luka na yone na yakobo akapanda mlemane ele kuomba ikawa katika kusale kwake sura ya uso wake ikageuka mavaze yake akawa mweupe ya ke meta meta na tazama watu wawele wale kuwa wake zungumza naye naone Musa na Eliya wale onekana katika utukufu wakane na bare ya kufareke kwake hata kakotemeza yerosalemu etro na wale wale kuwa pamoja naye wale kuwa wamelemewa na usingeze lakende wale pokwesha mka wale kuona utukufu wake na wale wawele wasi wale ose mama pamoja naye ikawa wale pokuwa wake jetenga naye petro ake mwambia yesu bwana mkubwa Neve zore sese ko apo apa na tufanye vibanda vitatu kimoja cha kwewe na kimoja cha Musa na kimoja cha Eliya ale ajoe asemalo ale boku ake semayo lele toke awengo le kawate awvole waka ogo pa wale poenge kateka wengo elo Saute katoka kate kawengo eke esema huyo ni mwanangu mte ule wangu msikie yeye na saute ele pokwesha Yesu aleonekana yo peke yake na o akanyamaza wasetangaze kwa mtu siku zile lolote katika hayo wale yo yanena Injili ya Bwana
basi sasa na kuelekea sehemu nyingine baada ya kusikiliza neno la Mungu kabla ya mahubiri basi kipindi hiki ni kipindi cha kuweza kuwaita wale watakaoweka nadhiri zao za maisha at this moment we are going uh, the candidates who are supposed to do or to make their perpetual profession will be called and they will be escorted uh, to the altar with their parents lakini kabla hilo leo hii pia tunasherekea jubilei ya miaka 25 ya upadri na basi mtachukua fursa hii ili kuweza kuwatambulisha ndugu zetu ambao wanasherekea miaka 25 ya utumishi katika altare ya Bwana basi nikiwaita mtainuka tu na kuwapungia wa Kristo mikono alafu mtarudi kwenye viti vyenu wa kwanza ambaye anasherekea jubilei ya miaka 25 ya upadri ni padri Francis Jabedo huyu ndiye e, padri e, Francis Jabedo leo hii anasherekea miaka 25 ya upadri ni mzaliwa wa jimbo kuu la Kisumu na hivi sasa anafanya kazi e, katika parokia ya mtakatifu Dominic huko Kiancha jimbo kuu la Kisumu Mwingine ambaye anasherekea jubilei yake ya miaka 25 ni Padre Charles Njoroge. Padre Charles Njoroge pia basi ambaye anasherekea leo hii miaka 25 ya upadri, mzaliwa wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi. Eh parokia ya Karinga kule Gatundu. Gatundu South anasema na anafanya kazi katika parokia ya mtakatifu Francisco wa Asizi Ruiru kama paroko. Tumpigie makofi na kumshangilia. Kwa for those who do not understand Swahili, these two of our brothers today are celebrating 25 years of uh, their priesthood. So they are celebrating their silver jubilee. E, basi wakati huu basi nitamuita e, muhudumu wetu wa Kastodia anyongee hapa mbele pamoja na mlezi wa e, mlezi wetu hapa e, the general pastor ambaye atakuja na kuweza kuwaita hawa ndugu watakaoweka nadhiri za daima wakiitwa tusubiri wajibu nipo ama present ndio tushangilie sawa kwa sababu tunataka kusikia huku kama kweli wamejibu ama hawajajibu hiyo ni sawa e, basi ndugu mlezi karibu brother Claudius Chitauro present brother Chitauro was born in 1989 and he's from the Archdiocese of Harare Zimbabwe he joined the order in 2001 and made his first profession in 2014 brother Opio John Steven Mambo Brother John Opio was born in 1991 He's from Kisumu Diocese 
from St. Boniface Masogo Parish and he joined the order in 2011 and made his first vows in 2014. Brother Peter Maurice Okomo. Brother Peter was born in 1993. He's from Homer Bay Diocese and he joined the order in 2012 and made his first profession in 2015. Brother Nyaoko Victor. He was born in 1994 and he's from Kisi Diocese and he joined the order in 2012 and made his first profession on 2015. Brother Calvin Munkuli. Present. Brother Calvin was born in 1986 and he's from the Diocese of Hangwe in Zimbabwe and he joined the order in 2013 and made his first profession on 2015. Brother Amon Matipeza. Brother Amon was born in 1994 and he is from the Archdiocese of Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. He joined the order in 2013 and made his first profession on 2015. Brother Lawrence Munyao. Brother Lawrence was born in 1987. He is from Machakos Diocese and he joined the order in 2013 and he made his first profession on 2016. Brother Kelvin Malanga. Brother Kelvin was born in 1988, in 1988 and he's from Kakamega Diocese and he joined the order in 2013 and made his first profession on 2016. Brother Alex Ndua. He was born in 1993 and he's from the Archdiocese of Nairobi. He joined the order in 2013 and made his first profession in 2016. Brother Paul Imai. Nipo. Paul Imai was born in 1994 and he is from Bungoma Diocese. He joined the order in 2013 and made his first profession 2016. Brother Brian Mike Hamasi. <laughs> he, is, he was born in 1993 and he's from the Diocese of Kakamega. He joined the order in 2013 and made his first profession in 2016. Brother Tasiusius Mkobwe. Present. He was born in 1991 and he is from the Diocese of Angwe in Zimbabwe and he joined the order in 2014 and made his first profession in 2016. Brother Nkosana Edward Siwela. He was born in 1996. He is from the Archdiocese of Bulawayo and he joined the order in 2014 and made his first profession in 2016. Can the choir lead us with a song so that they can process?
wakati huu eh na mkuu wa shirika ni nini mba kutoka kwa shirika na what you are superior what request the or from a Naomba nini kwa Mungu kanisa la Tifu Tujeku kuru mungu Tujeku kuru mungu Tumsifu Yesu Christ 
siku ya leo tunataka sisi ndugu wadogo wa kabini Mungu tubariki na ya baraka ya nne na watatu katika shirika letu Hapa Kenya ametuongezea nane na ndugu wale watano ni kutoka katika ya ya furaha kubwa lakini ya hayo ndugu tayari wamepewa mfano tunaposherehekea maisha ndugu zetu wawili ya miaka 25 ndugu mmepata mfano ndugu waliowe kuishi maisha wa zaidi ya miaka 25 napopewa mfano huo na ninyi napata nguvu napata matumaini ya kwamba yema kumba Mungu na kutolea maisha kazi hiyo Kristo tuna uhuru wa zazi kwa ya ndugu hao mliotupatia na yetu pia baraka na ulinzi wa Mungu katika maisha Yesu Kristo ndugu ambao hadiri za tuya mfano wa Kristo ambaye alikufa msalabani kwa maisha yake kwa ajili ya mpenzi ya Mungu na ninyi mtakapochukua waweze kuwapa nguvu ya kuishi kiwa watifu katika jumuiya yetu ya ndugu wadogo na katika kanisa Kristo awe ndiye mzi wenu mnapoishi na dhiri na pia Kristo kuwa kiongozi wenu mfano mwema apochukua nadhiri ya maisha ya ufuka mumeamua kujinyima Kristo ili muweze kuwa tayari ya Mungu Kristo ndio njia awaonyeshe kila siku na muendelee kuwa tayari kwa ajili katika kanisa mkiwa ndugu wa kapuchini mkiishi na pia mtachukua mwingine ya usafi wa moyo seja Kristo mwenyewe anaweza kutoa jibu walipoulizwa na watu wengine wanaoa na wengine sema hawa ambao ajili ya kutufundisha maisha na akasema kule mbinguni atakuwa kama malaika sisi wote wala kwa kwa hivyo mnatoa maisha yote Mungu ili muweze kuwa tayari kumekia hapa dunia katika nadhiri hiyo ya usafi wa moyo katika usaja muweze pia maisha wengine ya kwamba safari duniani ika mwisho lakini tuweze kuyatafuta na mwisho kalme wa Mungu Mungu Yesu Kristo Leo tunasherehekea ugeu 
sura kwa ke alichukua wanafunzi wake watatu Petro Yohana na mlimani na walifika mlima huu wa Musa Elia Ali watokea wakaunga lakini walipokuwa katika mlima huu sura yake Kristo badilika mavazi yalibadilika kama lakini Petro alipoona Kristo sura ama sura badilika ikape Mungu Petro ya Kristo tujia vitatu moja cha Musa kimoja cha Elia na kimoja cha Na alipokuwa katika hiyo furaha kuona utukufu wa Mungu kote ikisema huu Mungu mpendwa Na baada ya hapo wali katika huuma wakaelea na maisha ya kuhubiri injili tumsifu Kristo katika kugeuka sura sali na kufundisha la maisha ya Kristo katika dunia hii baitamfikisho na baada ya kipo siku ya tatu kuka katika wao hiyo atakapofufuka kama tulivyo katika kugeuka sura siku ya leo basi siku ya utukufu ni siku ya kwa hawa waliweza kuonyeshwa wa safari yake Kristo hapa duniani kifo mateso kifo na na utukufu na mafunzi hawa wa Kristo ya kwamba na wao wakiwa si wake Kristo siku ambayo Mungu na sisi itafika katika mwisho usiogope siku itafika kuna utukufu hiyo kuna haka na utukufu wake Kristo na Mungu atatupa tutaweza kuwa na utukufu katika maisha yajayo tumsifu Kristo tunapotafaka safari hii Kristo kwenda mlimani katika maisha yetu kama wa Kristo basi wa Kristo kama Kristo alienda kama na wanafunzi wake wale watatu katika maisha yetu ni lazima tutafute namna ya kwenda katika kwenda katika mlima maana yake ni kuwa pamoja na Kristo. Na katika tafakari yangu katika siku hii ya leo kuna njia tatu zinazoweza kutufikisha sisi katika mlima, zinazoweza kutufikisha sisi kukutana na Kristo. Na njia ya kwanza ambayo itatuwezesha sisi wote kwenda mlimani kukutana na Kristo ni njia ya sala. Kristo mwenyewe anasema wanapokusanyika watatu au wawili kwa jina langu mimi niko pamoja nao. Kwa hivyo katika maisha yetu 
tutafute uso wake Kristo sisi tukiwa kama ni ndugu tutafute uso wa Kristo kwa njia ya sala twende mlimani tukutane na Kristo katika sala tukiwa ni watu wa familia tunapoishi kwenye familia zetu tutafute uso wa Kristo twende mlimani kwa njia ya sala tunapoamka asubuhi katika familia kumbuka kumshukuru Mungu na kumuomba akubariki mwite Kristo atembee na wewe katika kazi zako kwenye hiyo familia ukiwa unaishi maisha yako ya ndoa kwenye familia tafute Kristo kanji katika njia ya sala mwambie atembee pamoja na wewe na tukiwa tumeandikwa kazi ama tumeandika wengine kazi na tunafanya kazi pahali ambapo tunafanya kazi basi tumtafute Kristo twende katika mlima wa Kristo kwa njia ya sala na tunapokutana na Kristo katika njia hiyo ya sala atatubariki tukiwa sisi ni viongozi wa serikali ama wa kanisa basi tutembee katika njia ya sala tukiutafuta uso wa Kristo tukimtafuta Kristo na tunapompata Kristo kama viongozi atatupa mfano atatupa hekima atatusaidia vile tutakavyoongoza wengine kwa hivyo njia ya kwanza ya kwenda mlimani kukutana na Kristo ni njia ya sala tusisahau kuomba kila siku tunahitaji chakula kwa ajili ya miili yetu tunahitaji nguvu pengine wakati mwingine tutakula tutakula mara mbili kwa siku mara tatu kwa siku au mara moja kwa siku lakini ni lazima tutakula chakula kila siku ambayo Mungu ametujalia ili miili yetu ipate nguvu vile vile unaposema maisha ya sala ni kama chakula usikose kuomba hata siku moja kwa sababu vile mwili unavyohitaji chakula ili uweze kuwa na nguvu na maisha yetu ya kiroho pia yanahitaji chakula na chakula cha roho ni sala tafuta nafasi uombe fika kanisani uombe kwenye familia Kristo anatuambia wanapokusanyika wawili au watatu mimi niko nao kwenye jumuiya hilo ndilo kanisa dogo tukutane na Kristo hiyo ndiyo njia ya kutafuta uso wa Mungu na ya kuishi katika dunia hii tumsifu Yesu Kristo njia ya pili ya kwenda mlimani kutafuta uso wa Kristo ni njia ya neno la Mungu tunaposoma neno la Mungu tunaposoma Biblia tunapewa matumaini tunapewa mwongozo wa kuitumia zawadi ya maisha na neno la Mungu linakuwa ni sheria ni katiba ya maisha yetu kama tunavyo e, kumbushwa kila wakati tufheshimu katiba ya inji vile vile tukiwa wa Kristo watoto wa Mungu katiba ya maisha ya Mkristo Mkatoliki ni Biblia ni neno la Mungu na kila wakati tunaposherehekea ibada ya misa takatifu tunasoma sehemu ya katiba hiyo tunasoma sehemu ya neno hilo la Mungu neno la Mungu ni sauti ya Mungu inayotuongelesha sisi watoto wake Mungu anaendelea kuongea nasi kwa neno lake kwa njia ya Biblia kwa njia ya injili Kristo anaendelea kuongea na sisi kwa hivyo tutafute uso wa Kristo tumkimbilie Kristo tumuombe ushauri tunaposoma neno la Mungu ikiwa ni familia tusaidie vile tutakavyolea watoto ikiwa ni sisi ndugu Kristo atusaidie katika neno lake na tunapoongozwa na neno hilo tuweze kuishi na kutambua mapenzi ya Mungu na kuyafanya tutafute uso wa Mungu tuwe watu wa Kristo wanaosoma E, Biblia neno la Mungu na neno la Mungu kama mzaburi anavyotuambia liwe ni taa ya maisha yetu tumsifu Yesu Kristo na pia njia nyingine ya tatu na ya mwisho katika tafakari hii ya leo ya kutafuta uso wa Mungu ya kwenda mlimani ni kwa njia ya sakramenti za kanisa maisha aliyoishi Kristo hapa duniani 
safari yake ya kuhubiri hapa duniani neema alizokuwa nazo katika maisha yake ya kuhubiri habari njema hapa duniani Kristo huyo anaendelea kutembea nasi katika sakramenti zake za kanisa Kristo asioonekana kwa macho haya ya mwili anaendelea kuonekana kwetu sisi na kutembea pamoja na sisi kwa njia ya sakramenti za kanisa basi kila wakati tunapopata nafasi ya kusherehekea sakramenti hizi tunakutana na Kristo na tunapokutana na Kristo anatupatia baraka anatupatia nguvu kwa hivyo tumtafute Kristo katika sakramenti zake hasa kwetu wale ambao ni ndugu na hata wa Kristo kuna zile sakramenti ambazo zinarudiwa kuna sakramenti saba katika kanisa tunakumbuka ubatizo ekaristia kipaimara pako wagonjwa kitubio daraja na ndoa lakini kati ya hizi sakramenti zote saba kuna zile mbili ambazo zinarudiwa sakramenti ya mpako wa wagonjwa tumkimbilie Kristo atupatie uponyaji katika sakramenti hii sakramenti ya kitubio tumtafute Kristo atupatie msamaha na atupe nguvu ya kusamehe wengine na pia tuwe tunashiriki ibada ya misa takatifu kila wakati tunapoadhimisha sakramenti ya ekaristi takatifu hizo ndizo sakramenti tatu ambazo zinarudiwa e, katika kanisa katoliki na Kristo anapokutana nasi katika sakramenti zake miujiza aliyoifanya katika dunia hii tunavyosoma katika neno la Mungu anaendelea kutenda miujiza hiyo siku ya leo tumsifu Yesu Kristo lakini mmoja anaweza akaniuliza swali ama anaweza akawa na swali katika roho yake tukishapatana na Kristo kwa njia ya sala kwa njia ya neno la Mungu na kwa njia ya sakramenti zake tutafanya nini tukikutana na Kristo tutafanana na yeye tukikutana na Kristo atatupatia baraka wakati mtoto amezaliwa katika familia mtoto huyu watu wanamletea zawadi si ni kweli wa Kristo wanapomletea zawadi kama ni kina baba wakifika katika familia watampongeza baba aliyepata mtoto pamoja na mama wanatoa zawadi zao na wanamalizia hapo lakini kina mama vile vile wanapokuja kutoa zawadi zao wakimpongeza mama mwenzao ambaye amepata mtoto na ninajua kuna kina mama hapa kuna kitu zaidi wanafanya wanapomwambia pongezi umepata mtoto wanaangalia macho ya mama wanaangalia macho ya baba wanaangalia macho ya mtoto si ni kweli kina mama wanaangalia masikio ya baba wanaangalia masikio ya mtoto wanaangalia masikio ya mama si ni kweli wanaangalia kichwa cha baba kimekaa type gani sijui ni kama papai kingine ni kama tikiti maji kingine sijui kimekaa kama cha kwangu sijui ni type gani cha kwangu mnaangalia hawa watoto na ni kwa nini mnapofanya hivyo mnatafuta nini kina mama tumusifu Yesu Kristo kina mama kina mama tumusifu Yesu Kristo wakati mnapoangalia mtoto mnamwangalia baba mnamwangalia mama mnamwangalia mtoto huwa mnatafuta nini e, kufanana si ni kweli na akiwa amefanana na wazazi mnafurahi na akiwa hawajafanana na wazazi huwa <laughs> muongei eh 
safari komu inapata pesa mnaanza kusema nilienda kuona mtoto mzee alitoka bure <laughs> si hivyo ndio mnafanya kina mama na mnamalizia hapo tafsiri yake mnajua wenyewe mimi sijui yeye ndio mnafanya nini e, mnasema eti mzee hapo kuna kitu haikuwa sawa alitoka Tumusifu Yesu Kristo kile ambacho ninafundisha identity huyo mtoto amefanania nani amefanania hiyo boma si ni kweli hicho ndicho kitu kina mama wanatafuta wakati wanapoenda kuona mtoto mdogo aliyezaliwa na siku ya leo tunasema Kristo tunamtafuta kwa njia hizo tatu sala neno la Mungu na njia nyingine sakramenti tunapopatana na Kristo ni lazima tufanane na yeye so tumeambiwa sura yake imebadilika leo akawa anangara ana utukufu tuko pamoja wa Kristo sura ya Kristo ni upendo tumusifu Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo tunapomtafuta Kristo tunapopatana na yeye ni lazima tufanane na yeye na kufanana na yeye maana yake ni kuwa na upendo roho ya Kristo imejaa upendo na sura yake imebadilika akatuonyesha utukufu wake na sisi tunatamani kufanana na yeye sura yake ni upendo tuishi kwa upendo si ni kweli wa Kristo tukiwa katika familia tukiwa katika maisha yetu ya nyumba za kitawa tukiwa katika nchi yetu tukiwa katika dunia nzima sisi wote ni watoto wa Mungu Kristo amebadilika sura siku ya leo na sura yake ni upendo na sisi tuishi kwa upendo na wapa amri amri ndio sura ya nani huko ndiko kufanana na Kristo tupendane na hayo ndiyo mapenzi yake Mungu pia sura ya Kristo ni amani roho ya Kristo imejaa amani Tunapotafuta uso wa Kristo, tunapofanana na Kristo, maana yake tuishi maisha ya amani. Huko ndiko kufanana na Kristo. Tunapoishi kwenye familia, tuwe vyombo vya amani. Pahali ambapo tunafanya kazi, tuwe vyombo vya amani. Kwenye nyumba zetu za kitawa, katika kanisa, tuwe vyombo vya amani na hata katika nchi yetu tuwe vyombo vya amani tuishi kwa amani huko ndiko kufanana na nani na Kristo na zaidi siku ya leo tunamwomba Kristo atujalie sisi tufanane na yeye tunapoingia katika kipindi cha uchaguzi kuchagua viongozi wetu wiki ijayo tumuombe atujalie amani peace is a resource ukiwa na amani utafurahia maisha yako katika wito uliyoitiwa na Mungu ikiwa wewe ni ndugu ukiwa na amani utafurahia wito wako 
ikiwa wewe ni mama au baba au watoto katika familia mkiwa na amani mtafurahia maisha ambayo Mungu amewaitia tukiwa sisi ni viongozi wa kanisa au wa serikali tukiwa na amani tutafurahia hata kuongoza unapoongoza watu wenye amani na wewe unafurahi si ni kweli wa Kristo basi tumuombe Kristo atusaidie tufanane na yeye na sura yake ni amani sisi wote tutafute amani tuwe vyombo vya amani na tuishi kwa amani Sura ya Kristo pia ni msamaha Kristo aliyeweza kutoa maisha yake msalabani alitoa maisha hayo ili atuletee zawadi ya msamaha kwa dhambi zetu sisi tulio wakosefu na hivyo tunavyosema kufanana na Kristo ni sisi tuweze e, kumuomba kwanza atusamehe dhambi zetu lakini pia atujalie na sisi tuwasamehe wale walio tukosea. Mnajua kutosamehe ni ugonjwa? Mimi sijui kama mnajua kutosamehe ni ugonjwa. Kuna mama mmoja alikuwa mgonjwa sana kwa kipindi cha karibu miaka mitano. Na of course huyo mama yuko hapa. Usiseme fadha na sema kwamba ni mimi nilikuwa mgonjwa. Huyo mama alipogonjeka akapelekwa hospitali. Na alipelekwa hospitali nzuri sana kwa sababu walikuwa na nguvu ya kifedha na waliweza kutafuta matibabu mazuri. Lakini Madaktari wale wazuri kabisa unaweza kufikiria katika akili yako katika hii dunia hata alitibiwa enji za enje huyo mama akaambiwa kulingana na masomo ya ulimwengu ya science huyo mama sio mgonjwa tuko pamoja wa Kristo na ndugu na e, mapadri baadaye Madaktari wakapatia huyo mama ushauri. Nenda kamtafute pasta wako. Na kwa bahati nzuri huyo mama alikuwa ni mkatoliki. Akaenda kwa fadha. Fadha aliuliza mama maswali mawili. Alimwambia kabla niendelee kukuombea kuna maswali mawili ninataka unijibu. Huyo mama fadha akamuuliza, fadha akauliza huyo mama ni siku gani ulifurahi sana katika maisha yako? Huyo mama akaambia fadha, ni siku ile niliambiwa utakuwa mama katika hii boma, siku ile ambapo aliolewa. Mimi sijui kina mama mulio hapa, kirudisha maisha yako nyuma, pengine hiyo siku ulikuwa na furaha. Si ni kweli? Na akasema hiyo ndiyo siku anakumbuka alikuwa na furaha kubwa sana katika maisha yake. Lakini fadha akamuuliza huyo mama swali kinyume cha lile la kwanza. Akamuuliza, "Ni siku gani ulikasirika sana katika maisha yako?" Basi huyu mama akaambia fadha alianza kulia na alipoendelea kulia akafungua kitambaa alikuwa amefunga kichwa chake na akaambia fadha kuna alama iko hapa kwa kichwa. Five years ago Bwana wangu bwana yangu alinipiga alinichapa na akanigonga kwa kichwa <laughs> tumuzifu Yesu Kristo na hiyo alama iko hapa ndio maana ninafunika nini kichwa changu na huyo mama akasema huyo mama akasema mimi sijawahi kusamehe bwana yangu tangu hiyo siku. Fadha akaambia mama ugonjwa wako ni nini? Ni kutosamehe. Kwa sababu alibeba bwana yake kwa miaka mingapi? Na sisi tumesema kufanana na Kristo maana yake ni msamaha. Sisi tusamehewe na sisi tufanye nini? Tusamehe wale ambao wame wametukosea. Na nikasema kutosamehe ni ugonjwa. Kwa hivyo huyu mama aligonzeka kwa muda wa miaka mingapi? mitano ugonjwa wa kuto samee mimi sijui umebeba mtu miaka mingapi 
Pengine umebeba watu paka waliokufa hata mtu akatuona anaweza akasema unaitwa beba beba kwa sababu umebeba tu kila mtu ukimuona wewe tu unakosana na yeye isn't it kila mtu ukimuona tu you know huko sio kufanana na Kristo huko ni kule ambako utaambia mzee alitoka bure na utasema mkristo alitoka kama utakaa karibu na Kristo na uwezi kufanana na yeye na wewe ulitoka sio mzee tu alitoka bure Kumbe hata sisi tunakaa na Kristo na tunatoka ye tunatoka bure kwa sababu kama Kristo anatuambia e, kufanana na yeye maana sura yake ni msamaha na sisi tunafanana na vitu vingine vya ambavyo havisamee si tulitoka bure tujitahidi sura ya Kristo ni msamaha na pia sura ya Kristo ni matendo mema Ukisoma Biblia ama injili hakuna wakati utasikia Kristo alitendea mtu matendo mabaya. Mimi sijui. Hata wale walimu wa Biblia, hata wale walimu wanaotufundisha Biblia, wale wanafundisha ndugu zetu, hakuna siku utasoma hiyo Biblia usikie Kristo alitenda matendo mabaya. Kwa hivyo tunavyosema kufanana na Kristo maana yake matendo yetu yawe matendo mema matendo yanayofanana na Kristo sura ya Kristo ni matendo mema Tujitahidi tusitoke bure Mtu ambaye afanane na Kristo huyo mtu ametoka e, kama yule mzee tumesema alitoka e, na wewe usikubali utoke kwa sababu uko ndani ya Kristo ukifanana ukikaa ndani ya Kristo sura yako ifanane na nani na mwisho sura ya Kristo ni mtakatifu sura yake ilikuwa inangara utakatifu wake ulionekana na sisi pia hata ukauliza ndugu ni kwa nini wamechagua kuishi maisha haya watakwambia nimechagua ili niweke nadhiri za daima Nimechagua ili ni e, e, weke nipewe daraja ya ushemasi, nimechaguliwa ili ni nipewe daraja ya upadri. Lakini zaidi ukiwauliza ni kwa nini umechagua haya maisha, watakwambia nimechagua haya maisha ili niwe mtakatifu. Kama mtakatifu Francisco baba yetu ambaye alichagua maisha haya kumtumikia Mungu lakini katika kumtumikia Mungu alikuwa anatafuta ufalme wa mbinguni alikuwa anatafuta maisha ya utakatifu ili siku ya mwisho aweze kufika kule mbinguni na awe mtakatifu na hata sisi ukiulizwa ni kwa nini umeingia katika familia umeingia ili uweze e, kutekeleza amri ya Mungu ya kutuletea watoto wengine duniani lakini pia umeingia katika hiyo familia ili baada ya maisha hayo ya familia na we uweze kufika kule mbinguni si ni kweli uweze kuwa mtakatifu kama mtakatifu Francisco kwa hivyo hiyo ndiyo sura ya Kristo sura ya Kristo ni utakatifu tutafute maisha ya utakatifu tumombe Mungu atusaidie siku ya leo tunapo waombea ndugu zetu kumina watatu ambao wanaweka nadhiri zao za daima Mungu awajalie baraka awajalie neema kuishi maisha ya utii kuishi maisha ya usafi wa moyo maisha ya useja na kuishi maisha ya ufukara Tumombe pia Mungu habariki ndugu zetu wawili ambao wamemtumikia bila kuchoka kwa muda wa miaka mitano. ni muda mrefu tunawapongeza kwa safari hiyo ambayo Mungu amewapatia kwa nafasi hiyo ambayo Mungu amewapatia wamebatiza watoto wengi wamefungisha ndoa nyingi wamepaka wagonjwa mafuta mengi wametolea wame misa nyingi katika maisha yao wamezika watu wengi na wamepitia emotions mbalimbali mbali. maisha ya fada hayo maisha yote yana emotions zote hizo katika harusi watu wanafurahi 
kabla hajamaliza harusi ameitwa mtu amekufa ni fada yule yule baada ya kupewa hiyo amepigiwa simu kuna mgonjwa hospitali wakupa kwa mafuta baada ya hapo mgo mlango imegongwa kuna mtoto anahitaji kwenda shule hana karo mama baba wanalia kwa hiyo boma baada ya hapo anatembea anakuta mwingine kwa geti akitoka kwenda kupaka mafuta mgonjwa mwingine anamsimamisha fada sina chakula baada ya hapo anakutana na mtoto mtoto anamwambia baba nyumba anamwambia e, fada nyumbani hakuna amani niombe dadi na mami hawasikilizani ni yule fada yule yule anapitia emotions hizo summary ya maisha ya fada they go through a lot of different and varying emotions sijui kama mnashika hiyo picha ninawapea si ni kweli fathers wale fathers walio hapa wanashika ile ninasema tunapitia we go through different emotions na hata kuna mtu aliniuliza maisha yako kama father hebu nipe summary nikamwambia summary yangu ni hizo emotions tunapitia katika kutumikia lakini pia hawakuchoka kwa sababu waliendelea kufanya kazi hiyo ya kutumikia maisha yao waliomtolea Mungu na wamekuwa waaminifu miaka 25 ni miaka mingi na tunawashukuru na tunawaombea lakini mwisho tuzidi kujiombea Kristo amebadilika sura siku ya leo katika mlima huo akiwa na wanafunzi wake Petro, Yohana na Jakobo na sisi pia tumtafute Kristo tutafute uso wake tutafute mlima wa Kristo kwa njia ya sala tuwe watu wa maombi tutafute uso wa Kristo katika njia hiyo ya kwenda huo mlima wa Kristo kwa njia ya sakramenti za kanisa na pia tutafute e, Kristo twende katika huo mlima kwa njia ya neno la Mungu tuongozwe na injili na Biblia katika maisha yetu iwe ni katiba na taa ya maisha yetu lakini pia tunapopatana na Kristo tumuombe atusaidie sura yetu ifanane na sura yake Sura ya Kristo ni upendo, tuishi kwa upendo tupendane. Sura ya Kristo ni amani, tuwe vyombo vya amani, tuishi kwa amani. Sura ya Kristo ni msamaha, tuombe msamaha kwa dhambi zetu na tuwasamehe wale waliotukosea. Sura ya Kristo ni matendo mema, tutende matendo mema kwa wengine. Na sura ya Kristo ni utakatifu. Tukishatenda hayo yote siku ya mwisho, atufikishe kule mbinguni baada ya kutupa baraka za hapa duniani siku ya mwisho atufikishe kule mbinguni tufurahi milele na milele mtakatifu francisco utuombe tumsifu yesu kristo baada i kusikia kipindi hichi sasa ni kipindi cha maulizo ambapo wale watakaoweka nadhiri za daima watajongea hapa mbele na wataulizwa nia yao na katika kipindi hichi kila mmoja wao atajibu peke yake baada ya kuulizwa hayo maswali at this juncture uh, is the moment of questioning your intention and so you will come forward and the custos will question you and you are going to answer individually not in unison basi ningemuomba muhurumu 
ajunge hapa mbele Ukibadilisha unampatia wenzako microphone ndogo wapendwa kwa batizo ninyi mmekuwa mmekufa kuhusu dhambi mkawekwa wakfu kwa Bwana je mwataka kujiweka wakfu zaidi kwake kwa kuweka nadiri za maisha katika jamii yetu ya Kifransisko nataka 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 kwa msaada wa neema ya Mungu kuyazingatia maisha ya usafi kamili utii na ufukara ambao mtakatifu Francisco akifuata mfano wa Yesu Kristo na wa Bikira Maria aliyachagua kwa ajili yake mwenyewe na kwa ajili ya ndugu zake na kuyashikilia daima mpaka kufa nataka 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 kushika kikamilifu siku zote maagizo na mashauri ya injili na kanuni yetu na hivyo muweze kuufikia upendo kamili wa Mungu na wajirani nataka 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 mwataka kwa msaada wa paji la roho mtakatifu kutumia kwa moyo mkarimu maisha yenu yote katika kuwapenda ndugu na kulihudumia kanisa taifa la Mungu kwa ajili ya Yesu aliyekuja kutumikia sio kutumikiwa nataka 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 Mwataka kama wahaji na wageni katika ulimwengu huu kumtumikia Mungu katika ufukara na unyenyekevu na kulihudumia kanisa lake kama alivyolihudumia baba yetu Francisco na alivyowataka wafanye wafuasi wake nataka 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 mwataka kwa msaada wa Mungu kuzingatia na kupenda ule ufukara ambao baba yetu Francisco aliupenda sana na kuwataka wafuasi wake waupende vivyo hivyo nataka 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 Mungu alianzisha ndani yenu tendo hili jema na alitimilize mwenyewe ile siku ya Kristo Yesu Amina ya kuulizwa wakati huu ni tutaenda kujiunga ama kuombea ndugu hawa tukiungana na kanisa lililo mbinguni yani watakatifu kwa hivyo ni kipindi cha litania ya watakatifu e, ndugu hawa watalala kifudi fudi 
lakini kwa sababu ya mazingira ambayo tuko nayo mahali hapa kama uko mahali ambapo unaweza kupiga magoti ni vyema lakini kama unaona uko mahali uweze kupiga magoti tafadhali usimame Subiri kidogo subiri kidogo Tumuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi ili kwa maombezi ya watakatifu wa shirika letu na watakatifu wote awashushie kwa ihsani hawa ndugu zetu walioitwa kumfuata kikamilifu Kristo neema ya baraka yake na kuathibitisha kwa huruma yake katika nia yao takatifu Maria 
ya mtakatifu mama wa Mungu Takatifu Mikaeli Watakatifu malaika wa Mungu Takatifu Yosefu Takatifu Yohani Mbatizaji Utu ame Watakatifu Petro na Paulo Utu ame Takatifu Andrea Takatifu la urenti Utu ame Takatifu basili Utu ame Takatifu agostino Takatifu Benedicto Utu ame Takatifu Dominico Utu ame Takatifu Francisco Takatifu Clara Utu ame Takatifu Bonaventura Utu ame Takatifu Antoni Wapadua Takatifu Bernardino Utu ame Takatifu Petro wa Alcantara Utu ame Takatifu Katarina wa Bologna Takatifu Francisco Solano Utu ame Takatifu Elizabeth wa Hungaria Utu ame Takatifu Laurenti wa Brindy Takatifu Crispi no wavite Utu ame Takatifu Yosefu wa Kopersno Utu ame Takatifu Anyesi wa Asisi
Takatifu Leopoldi. Takatifu Konradi Wapazamu. Takatifu Ludovico. Takatifu Teresa wa Avila. Takatifu Veronica. Takatifu Margarita Cortona. Takatifu Padre Pio. Takatifu Teresa wa Kolkata. Takatifu Yohane Paulo wa Pili. Takatifu mashahidi wa Uganda. Watakatifu mashahidi wa Kifransko. Watakatifu wote wa Mungu.
Tupende kurekebisha na kuyaongoza maisha na kazi za watawa ili yalete manufa kwa wanada wote Pende kuwa shirikisha zaidi na zaidi katika kazi ya ukombozi wote wanaofuata mashauri ya injili Pende kuwajalia wingi wa baraka zako wazazi walio kutolea sadaka watoto wao hawa Yesu mwana wa Mungu aliye hai Tuna kuomba utusikie Kristo usikie Kristo utu Mwenyezi wa milele Mwenye haki na huruma Uwajalie Uwajalie Kwa ajili yako mwenyewe Kale wajua Kwa ni mapeko Daima Kale ya kupeko Kivyo wakili Kaswa Kuangatwa na kuwashwa Tifu Kweze kuzifuwa za mwana wana wetu Yesu Kristo waka kufa. Yalie waweze kukufikia kutu. We ulie tu. Kweze na kutawala na kuka katika kuka mili na yoga wanyika. Mungu. Mwenyezi dai milele And uh, you go back to your Then I want to confront your profession.
So. For the praise and glory of the Most moved by the divine inspiration to follow more closely the gospel footprints of our Lord Jesus Christ, the presence of my brother, and into your hands, Brother Arnold Shiri, custodial minister. I, Brother Claudius Kudakwashi Echitauro, steadfast in faith and will, vow to God the Father, holy and all powerful, to live for my entire life in obedience without any of my own and in chastity. At the same time, I promise the life and the of the Friars Minor confirmed by Pope Honorius in accordance with the constitutions of the Order of the Brothers. Therefore, I trust myself with all my heart to this brotherhood so that by the working of the Holy Spirit after the example of Mary Immaculate and through the intercession of our Father Francis and of all the saints, with the help of my brothers, I may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of God, the Church, and of all people. And I, in the name of the Church and of our order, receive your vows. And if you observe these promises, I promise you eternal life. Amen. Sifa na utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana Mimi ndugu John Stephen Opio Kwa kuvutwa na neema ya mungu Napenda kuishi injili Na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za bwana wetu Yesu Kristu Kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu walio kutanika hapa Na nikiwa mikononi mwako Ndugu Anol Shirma mudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi dhabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba mtakatifu na mwenye enzi kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote naahidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu Maisha ya kanuni ya ndugu wadogo iliyodhibitishwa na Papa Honorio. Kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu wadogo wa chini. Hivyo najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa mfano wa Bikira Maria asiye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu Francisco na ya watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele amina Sifa na utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana. Mimi ndugu Morris Peter Okomo kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi injili na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako 
ndugu Arnold Shirima muhudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi thabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba mtakatifu na mwenye enzi kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote naahidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha na kanuni ya ndugu wadogo iliyothibitishwa na papa honoria kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu wadogo wa kapuchini hivyo najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya roho mtakatifu kwa mfano wa bikira maria siye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu francisco na watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote Nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele Amina sifa na utukufu kwa utakutu mtakatifu sana mimi ndugu nyaoko Victor kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi njili na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako ndugu Arnold Shirima muhudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi thabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba mtakatifu mwenye enzi kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote naahidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha na kanuni ya ndugu wadogo iliyotipitishwa na Papa Honorio kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu wadogo wa Kapuchini hivyo Najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa mfano wa Bikira Maria asiye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu Francisco na watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa upe wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote Nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele. Amina. for the praise and glory of the most holy trinity moved by divine inspiration to follow more closely the gospel and the footprints of our lord jesus christ in the presence of my brothers and in your hands brother anod shirima custodial minister i brother calvin monkoli steadfast in faith and will vow to god the father holy and all powerful to live for my entire life in obedience without anything of my own and in chastity and at the same time i profess the life and the rule of the friars minor confirmed by pope honorius in accordance with the constitution of the order of the captain lesser brothers therefore I entrust myself with all my heart to this brotherhood so that by the working of the Holy Spirit after the example of Mary Immaculate and through the intercession of our father Francis and of all the saints with the help of my brothers I may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of God the church and of all people 
and I, in the name of the church and of our order, receive your vows. And if you have served these promises, I promise you eternal life. Amen. For the praise and glory of the most holy trinity, moved by divine inspiration to follow more closely the gospel and the footprints of our Lord Jesus Christ in the presence of my brothers and into your hands, Brother Arnold Shirima, custodial minister, I, Brother Amon Matipeza, stand fast in faith and will, vow to God the Father, holy and all-powerful, to live for my entire life in obedience without anything of my own and in chastity. At the same time, I profess the life and the rule of the Friars Minor confirmed by Pope Honorius in accordance with the constitutions of the Order of the Captain Lesser Brothers. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this brotherhood so that by the working of the Holy Spirit, after the example of Mary Immaculate, and through the intercession of our Father Francis, and of all the saints, with the help of my brothers, I may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of God, the Church, and of all people. I, in the name of the Church and of our order, receive your vows. And if you observe these promises, I promise you eternal life. Amen. Sifa na utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana. Mimi Dugu Lawrence Munyawa Muvela kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi njili na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako ndugu Arnold Shirima muhudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi thabiti na weka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba mtakatifu na mwenye henzi kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote na ahidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha na kanuni ya dugu wadogo iliyothibitishwa na papa honorio kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la dugu wadogo wa kapuchini hivyo Najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa mfano wa Bikira Maria asiye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu Francisco na ya watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa dugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote Nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele. Amina. Sifa na utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana. Mimi ndugu Kevin Malanga Malimo kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi injili na kufuata kwa karibu saidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako ndugu Arnold Shirima muhudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi thabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba 
mtakatifu na mwenye enzi kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote na aidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha ya kanuni ya ndugu adoko iliyothibitishwa na papa honorio kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu adoko wa kapchini hivyo najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kasi ya roho mtakatifu kwa mfano wa bikra maria asiye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu Francisco na watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele amina Congratulations. Sifa na utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana. Mimi ndugu Alex Ndua kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi injili na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako ndugu Arnold Shirima, mhudumu wa kustodia. Kwa imani na utashi thabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba, mtakatifu na mwenye enzi, kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote naahidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha na kanuni ya ndugu wadogo iliyothibitishwa na papa honorio kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu wadogo wa kapuchini hivyo najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya roho mtakatifu kwa mfano wa bikira maria siye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu francisco na ya watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote. Nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele. Amina. utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana mimi ndugu Pauli Mai kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi injili na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako ndugu Arnold Shirima hudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi thabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba mtakatifu na mwenye enzi kuishi kwa utii bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote naahidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha na kanuni ya ndugu wadogo iliyothibitishwa na papa honorio kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu wadogo wa kapuchini hivyo najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya roho mtakatifu kwa mfano wa Bikra Maria asiye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu Francisco na watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele Amina. Sifa na utukufu kwa utatu mtakatifu sana. Mimi ndugu Brian Mike Hamasi kwa kuvutwa na neema ya Mungu napenda kuishi injili 
na kufuata kwa karibu zaidi nyayo za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa hiyo mbele ya ndugu waliokutanika hapa na nikiwa mikononi mwako ndugu Arnold Shirima muhudumu wa kustodia kwa imani na utashi dhabiti naweka nadhiri kwa Mungu Baba mtakatifu na mwenye enzi kuishi kwa uti bila mali na kwa usafi kamili kwa maisha yangu yote naidi kutekeleza kwa uaminifu maisha na kanuni ya ndugu wadogo iliyothibitishwa na Papa Honorio kadiri ya katiba ya shirika la ndugu wadogo wa Kabuchini hivyo najitoa kwa moyo wote kwa jamii hii ili kwa kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa mfano wa Bikira Maria asiye na doa kwa maombezi ya baba yetu Francisco na watakatifu wote na kwa msaada wa ndugu nifikie ukamilifu wa mapendo katika utumishi wa Mungu kanisa na watu wote nami kwa niaba ya kanisa na shirika letu napokea nadhiri zako na ukishika hayo yote Mungu Mwenyezi atakupatia uzima wa milele For the praise and glory of the most holy trinity moved by divine inspiration to follow more closely the gospel and the footprints of our Lord Jesus Christ in the presence of my brothers and into your hands brother Arnold Sherima custodial minister I brother Tarsius Mukombwe steadfast in faith and will vow to God the Father holy and all powerful to live for my entire life in obedience without anything of my own and in chastity at the same time i confess the life and the rule of the friars minor confirmed by pope honorius in accordance with the constitution of the order of the capuchin lesser brothers therefore i entrust my life with all my heart to this brotherhood so that by the working of the holy spirit after the example of mary immaculate and through the intercession of our father francis and of all the saints with the help of my brothers i may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of god the church and of all people and i in the name of the church and of our order receive your vows and if you observe these promises, I promise you eternal life. Amen. For the praise and glory of the Most Holy Trinity, moved by divine inspiration, to follow more closely the gospel and the footprint of Lord Jesus Christ in the presence of my brothers and into your hands, Brother Arnold Shirima, custodial minister, I, Brother Ngosana Edward Siwela, steadfast in faith and will, vow to God the Father, holy and all-powerful, to live for my entire life in obedience without anything of my own and in chastity at the same time i profess the life and the rule of the friars minor confirmed by pope honorius in accordance with the constitutions of the order of the capuchins lesser brothers therefore i entrust myself with all my heart to this brotherhood so that by the waking of the Holy Spirit, after the example of Mary Immaculate, and the, through the intercession of our Father Francis, and of all the saints, with the help of my brothers, I may constantly strive for the fullness of love in the service of God, the Church, and of all people. And I, in the name of the Church and of our order, Receive your vows, 
And if you observe these promises, I promise you eternal life. Amen.
mbele na kupiga magoti alafu wata e, saliwa baraka kuu e, ya kuwekwa wakfu you are now come in front kneel down so that e, you receive e, the blessing and the dedication
e Mungu uliyasili na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote uliwapenda hivi watu uliowaumba hata ukawashirikisha uzima wako wa kimungu katika wema wako hukutaka dhambi ya damu wala maovu ya ulimwengu yabatilishe mpango huo wa wema wako tangu mwanzo wa historia umetuonyesha katika abeli asiye na kosa mfano wa maisha ya uadilifu na katika maongozi yako matakatifu umewafanya watokee katika taifa teule la waebrania wanaume watakatifu na wanawake wenye fadila bora miongoni mwao umetukuka ametukuka mtakatifu Maria Bikira Daima binti Sayuni katika tumbo lake neno wako alitoa mwili akajifanya mtu kwa ajili ya wokovu wa ulimwengu ndiye Yesu Kristo bwana wetu yeye aliyepata utakatifu kutoka kwako baba amejifanya fukara ili atutajirishe akajitwalia hali ya mtumishi ili atuweke huru katika fumbo la paska ameukomboa ulimwengu kwa upendo usiopimika akaitakasa kanisa lake na kulistahilia mapadri ya roho mtakatifu kutoka kwako bwana nawe baba kwa sauti ya huyo roho mtakatifu iliyodokeza umewavuta watoto wasio na idadi wa mfuase Kristo na miongoni mwao umemsimamisha mtumishi wako Francisco shahidi mwaminifu wa ukamilifu wa kiinjili kusudi kwa amri ya Kristo msulubiwa aende pamoja na ndugu zake kutengeneza upya nyumba yako yaani kanisa na kulifanya upya kwa utakatifu wa maisha basi watazame e bwana ndugu zetu hawa ambao kwa maongozi yako umewaita kumfuata Francisco Fukara mnyenyekevu na mpenda msalaba uwajaze tele mapaji saba ya roho wako kusudi walichoahidi leo kwa neema yako wakiwa wakunjufu na wafurahivu kwa ajili yako waweze kukitekeleza kwa utakatifu na uaminifu mpaka kufa waimarishe katika unyenyekevu wa kweli wawake moto wa upendo kwa Kristo na ndugu wasitamani chochote kuliko kanuni za uti mtakatifu wafuate ufukara wa hali ya juu kabisa waipende fadila ya uvumilivu wala wasizime roho ya sala na ibada maisha yao walioweka wakfu kwako yalijenge kanisa yauendeleze wokovu wa ulimwengu na pia yawe ishara na dhiri dahiri ya mema ya mbinguni wewe mwenyewe e baba mtakatifu uwe tegemeo na kiongozi wao na watakapofika mbele ya mwanao uwe wewe rehema na tuzo lao ndipo watafurahi kwa vile wamekuwa waaminifu katika maisha yao ya kujitoa tena wakisha kuwa thabiti katika upendo wako watakutukuza daima katika ushirika wa watakatifu tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu amina unaweza you can stand up tuwapigie makofi vigeregele na shangwe
Hawa sasa ni ndugu wa profesi wa daima katika shirika Sasa ni wakati wa busu la amani ama wakati wa kuwapongeza hivyo basi mhudumu wa shirika moja na ndugu zetu wa kapuchini na wazazi peke yake wengine mtasubiri paka mwisho baada ya hapo mtawapongeza kwa nipatie nyimbo only the parents captain brothers and the priests Ni 
leni ndogo ile sadaka yangu na yenu ikubaliwe na Bwana Mungu Mwenyezi. E, bwana tuna kuomba vitakatifu ze vipaji tunavyokutolea katika siku kuu takatifu ya kungaa sura mwanao pekee na si utusafishe madoa ya dhambi zetu kwa nuru ya mngao wake kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu Bwana awe na anyi manaki tendo la kufana la kuleta wokovu tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba uliye mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya kristo o bwana wetu yeye alionyesha utukufu wake mbele ya mashahidi aliowateua aliojaza mwili wake ulio sawa na wengine kwa mngao mkubwa ili kikwazo cha msalaba kiondolewe katika mioyo ya wafuasi wake hivyo alionyesha kuwa katika mwili wa kanisa lote utatimia Mga ule ule ambao ulinga kwa namna ya ajabu katika Kristo aliye kichwa chake kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na nguvu za mbinguni tunakutukuza daima hapa duniani tukikusifu bila mwisho Adama yako kwa sauti ku Bwana kweli o mtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote 
Tunakuomba uvitakatifuze vipaji hivi kwa nguvu ya roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipotolewa na kuingia kwa iyari katika mateso yake alitoa mkate akakushukuru akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akashukuru tena akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Ile ni fumbo la imani Kristo alikufa Kristo alifufuka Kristo atakuja tena Kwa hiyo e Bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa kifo na ufufuko wake mwanao Tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikombe cha uokovu. Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetustailisha kusimama mbele yako na kukutumikia. Pia tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo tukusanywe na Roho Mtakatifu tupate kuwa jamaa moja. E bwana Ulikumbuke kanisa lako lilianea popote duniani ulikamilishe katika mapendo pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Philip Anyolo na wakleri wote E bwana wakumbuke pia hao ndugu zetu waliojitoa kwako leo kwa utumishi wa daima na uwajalie wa kuinulie siku zote mioyo na akili zao na wa, walitukuze jina lako wakumbuke watumishi wako George Ndor Nyawira Sidupano Orwa Christine Orwa ndugu na dada na familia zao Kumbuke Joseph Nchoroge Magda ni Wamboi ndugu na dada wa familia yao Uliye waita kwako kutoka dunia hii Wajali hili wao walioshirikishwa kifo cha mwanao kwa batizo washiriki pia ufufuko wake wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko na marehemu wote waliofariki dunia katika huruma yako wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba uturumie zote ili pamoja na Maria Bikira mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Josefu mama wake hiyo bikira itume wenye heri mtakatifu Francisco mtakatifu Clara mtakatifu Padre Pio mtakatifu Ventura na watakatifu wote waliopendeza tangu kale tustahili kushiriki usimamu nele na kusifu na kutukuza kwa njia mwanao Yesu Kristo
kwa njia yake pamoja na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na amilele kwa kulitia gizo la mokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimbongo tunathubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupeleo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea usikie katika kisha lakini utokwe mavuni. E Bwana tunakuomba utopwe katika mavu yote. Utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako, tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. E Bwana Yesu Kristo aliwaambia mitume wako Amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala milele na milele Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi Tutakiane amani ya Kristo Ni fanye chombo cha
Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu, tazama ondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu. Heri ya waliolikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. Mwili na damu ya Kristo vitulinde tupate uzima wa milele. Kristo wa Katoliki ambao wameruhusiwa na wamejiandaa. Oh, 
shukrani e, hawa ndugu zetu watazunguka wako na kadi za mwaliko wa sherehe nyingine na hii ni sherehe ya familia ya ndugu wadogo wa kapuchini itakayofanyika mwezi wa kumi tarehe tarehe saba Oktoba kule katika makao yetu makuu Westlands Raptor Road manake family day sasa hizi kadi watakazokuwa wanapita kama unahitaji huo mwaliko uinue mkono utapewa kadi sawa kama unataka huo mwaliko uinue mkono upewe kadi yako kadi yako sawa jumbo shukrani ndugu zangu mwingine huku mwingine huku pia nini hizo kadi kwa wale wanahitaji ukinua mkono ndio utapewa na pita pale hii na wewe ndai hapa ndani na mjue ni kadi za mchango <laughs> tutajua tu kama mtu anataka tu kadi ya mlo ama pia kadi ya mchango atajitoa ndio maana ni family day nimetangaza ukijua unachukua this is a fun day.
sala baada ya komunyo Ombe E bwana tunakuomba chakula cha mbinguni tulichokipokea kitubadilishe ili tufanane na yeye ambaye ulitaka kudirisha utukufu wake Aliponga sura anaeshi na kutawala daima na milele Mketi Basi kipindi hichi 
nataka kiwe kifupi sana kwa sababu sisi tumezoea kula lunch saa sita na nusu na saa hii ni saa saba na nusu One hour late enzyme zimeshuka sasa yeyote nitakaye muita aweze kuongea hapa tafadhali kuwa mfupi sawa usiongee kwa dakika nyingi chakula kinapoa tumeelewana eh si atuleta pastori nyingi eh sijui ah ah hivyo umalize eh kwanza kabisa siku imenoga ama haijanoga imenoga haijanoga vigelegele kina mama wazee pigeni makofi basi ni siku ya furaha kwa kweli siku ya baraka kama vile huduma alivyosema pale mwanzo si baraka tu kwa shirika letu bali baraka kwetu sisi sote tuliojumuika hapa kwa sababu ni kwa nia moja ama nyingine ndipo sasa tuko hapa kwa sababu ya kuweza kuwasikiliza hawa ndugu zetu ambao leo hii wamejitoa maisha yao yote ye kuwa wakapuchini kuwa Francisco wakapuchini basi bila kupoteza wakati kwanza kabisa ningependa kuweza ku, ku kutambua uwepo wa eh, abot wa shirika la Benedictino eh, abot John Bosco naomba tafadhali usimame uwafungie wa Kristo mkono ama si John Baptist ndio John Baptist John Bosco hajapitana mali yule ni abot muone yuko na msalaba kama waaskofu ule ni abot abate kiswahili anaita abate wa shirika la wabenedictino tunafurahi sana kwa uwepo wako hapa ningependa pia kutambua uwepo wa maparoko ambao hawa ndugu zetu wametoka katika hizo parokia zao na leo hii wamekuja kuwasikiliza hawa ndugu zao ningeomba tu wasimame wataje majina yao na wametoka parokia gani Tumsifu Tumsifu Yesu Kristo kwa majina naitwa Father John Baptist Nditi kutoka parokia wa mtakatifu Boniface Masogo Nimefika hapa kwa ajili ya ndugu yetu brother Steven. Na wanaparokia wote wa masogo waliofika hapa simameni mweu. Tunashukuru sana Mungu azidi kubariki. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati kwa majina naitwa Father Peter Malia kutoka kwa shirika la ndugu wa Francisco wa Matumaini natoka katika parokia ya Holy Eucharist Parish kulelo wa Kabete Kingero kwa ajili ya huyu ndugu yetu Alex Ndua ambaye ame profess leo na wakristo wa Kingero wanaweza wakasimama tafadhali Asante sana Mungu awabariki Asante sana basi wakati huu ningependa kumuita e, mwakilishi wa wazazi umeoneshwa mfano njo hivyo hivyo mwakilishi wa wazazi tafadhali the representative of the parents please come forward and make your remark Msingi Yesu Kristo. Ah kwa bali baba paroko, wa shirika kapuchini na wote ambao wamekuja hamjambo. Mimi kwa niaba ya baba na mama wa Steve Pio ambapo walikuwa wamechaguliwa kutoa hii hotuba wakaniambia nije niwasaidie. On behalf of the parents, 
I'm here to do one, two, three. Number one, we want to congratulate the graduates for having done as good as parents. Amuja to Aibisha, and you have kept the faith, the determination, all that was pertaining to your graduation. You have done it well. Thank you very much. Our only advice is kindly believe in what you read. Practice, I mean, teach what you believe in and practice what you teach. We thank you very much. Secondly, we also wish to thank uh, uh, the fellows who have made this day a success, most of the Capuchin, who have made us proud. Since we came here yesterday, we have been full. In fact, my coat is now becoming a bit smaller and it's courtesy of you people. Thank you very much and Jani Masses as we go back. Asante Nisan. Thank you very much, Asante Sana. Now the next person that I'm going to call is a representative. This is what we are celebrating today, becoming perpetually and truly your brothers. Brothers in the order, brothers to the people, and in the mind of St. Francis, brothers to the whole creation. Nevertheless, Brother Custos Ano Shirima, the custodial minister of the Capuchin Custody of Kenya, Abbot uh, John Baptist of the Benedictine monks, fellow Capuchin Franciscan friars, priests, the religious, our parents and families, friends, neighbors, and all of you people of God joining us today. This very day, 6th of August, has brought a sig significant meaning to us of how I and my brothers will be celebrating the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. Speaking on their behalf, on this occasion, I believe what is common in all of us at this moment is a profound gratitude and gratefulness, a sense of thankfulness of which I want to express today. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the work of the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Looking back over the years, we are test of God's closeness, His graces, accompaniment, divine providence, and his gift of his presence. The psalmist tells us, It is good to give thanks to the Lord. And with our lady, our mother Mary, each one of us can say, My soul glorifies the Lord. Divine providence offered to us the knowledge of the Capuchin Franciscan order, in which we have found acquaintance, joined and have been incarnated today. We are indeed indebted to the brothers who've, who have always received us as part of them since we joined the order. We saw you brothers and we wanted to be like you. More than the buildings that you have and the friaries, it is in your goodness that you have always stayed. We thank the superiors of the two custodies of Zimbabwe and Kenya and especially Ndugu Arnold, my custos, for receiving our vows today. On a light note, I have noticed the superiors who received us in post Lancy and the one also who received our first vows have become bishops. Sisemi Utakua Skofu, luckily you can see the blessing that is coming with this group. But again, we wish you the very best in your ministry. <coughs> Experience does not just come with age or years in the order, but also exposure. We are grateful to the brothers we have lived with in different friars and fraternities who did not just show us, but also helped us to live the life, involved us in the various ministries. There is a saying that the character of a man comes out well when he is placed in charge of those who can do nothing to him. Therefore, we thank our formators who acted as our elder brothers, godfathers, and companions in our formation. To mention Brother Ken Makoha, who is with us, Brother Maloba, Master Maloba, as he wishes to be called. And uh, I was just informed that our uh, post transformator, Sivinia Paula, who is absent, is also celebrating 10 years since he received his uh, final profession a day just like today. And lastly, also our brother Charles Charo, 
who helped us to make this last try because we know saa zingine nyungu inaweza kuvunjikia mlangoni so tunamshukuru ndugu charo thank you also our brothers who have been together with us in the initial formation our interactions formed us a great deal it is in living together as age mates where we can really learn to be brothers and where fraternity can be well expressed to our parents our parents said yes before we even said yes they said yes to the gift of life our lives and they welcomed us and nurtured us. They molded us to find young men that the older could admit. We cannot be able to thank them enough. Our parents in Zimbabwe, Tatenda, Siabonga, for the great gift of our brothers. Tunashukuru sana sana wazazi wetu. Kwangu mimi binafsi ninaposali sala ya bwana baba yetu ninahuhakika kwani najua baba ni mtu wa namna gani upendo wa mama pia hauelezeki ni mwalimu wetu wa dini wa kwanza anayetujulisha utajiri wa kumjua na kumpenda Mungu tumewaona wazazi wetu wakiishi wito wao wa ndoa na kuishi maisha yao yote kwa ajili ya familia hivyo mmetupa mfano wa kwanza wa kuishi na kujitolea katika wito wetu. Tunawashukuru pia wote tuliozaliwa nao, kaka na dada zetu, familia zetu zote. Hata tunapokuwa mbali nanyi, mko karibu zaidi katika fikra na sala zetu. Pamoja na familia zetu tunawashukuru pia wa God parents. Mama yetu Madam Margaret kutoka Mpeketoni and the God parents of our brothers from Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. Tuombe wazazi wetu na ndugu zetu kutoka nyumbani na ndugu zetu shirikani tulioishi nao ambao wametutangulia. Raha ya milele uwape Bwana. Wapumzike kwa amani. Everyone who has left houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother for my sake, we receive a hundred times as much. This has become true to us through all of you, our brothers and sisters in the consecrated life, who have in many ways been our family, our role models, our heroes, our inspiration, spiritual directors, advisors, and friends. Thank you, fathers and brothers and sisters. This thanks especially to our parish priests, who support us, and especially those who made the effort to be present today. Thank you, our brothers and sisters, who animated this liturgy, the Dimesi sisters and our brothers. Thanks to all who organized and prepared this event, especially our brothers from this community. More than hired personnel, what you do, what you have done, is of more value to us as it come from our brothers, from a fraternal concern, and the love to be involved in the celebration of the events of the brothers. Of course, I cannot exhaust mentioning everyone at this moment. Thanks to you all who have joined us today, and even all you who really wanted to join us, all who have been part of our journey, relatives, friends, neighbors, all of you people of God, like St. Paul to the Philippians, I say on behalf of my brothers, each and every one of you has a special place in my heart. Kwa kawaida, jibu la haraka tunapoulizwa kwa nini tulijiunga na maisha haya, tunasema ni kumtumikia mungu na watu wake. Basi, kuwepo kwenu leo, basi ni faraja kubwa sana kwetu, kwani maisha yetu ya napata maana zaidi kati yenu. Hivyo asanteni wote wote kabisa mliotoka maparokiani kwetu ndugu zetu majirani na wote mlio shiriki nasi tukio hili Lastly my brothers whom we have received this gift the event became visible this week when we came from Uganda started receiving our new habits codes 
here in the practice of Songs of the Liturgy. It is no longer about one year. It's about the rest of our lives. Until our last profession, will we be still wearing our habits. A call to be more together than ever before. This is the day that the Lord has made, the day we have longed for, some of us nine years, some of us more than ten years, Brother Pio and Brother Claudius, more than ten years. Thank you, brother, brothers, for that um, example you have shown us of patience. Ningependa tu wapongeze ndugu zangu Opio na Claudius ambao wameishi wamengojea siku hii kwa muda mrefu. Zaidi ya miaka 11. Thank you for that example of patience. In Thanksgiving mass usually when we are in the parishes the priests usually choose two readings of lepers the reading of Naaman the leper who collects the soil from Israel and takes it back to his home place and says henceforth I will be serving the God of Israel and he will be praying on that soil then the gospel is of the ten lepers where one comes back to say thank you and he prostrates in adoration recognizing Jesus as the Lord this speaks to us brothers who have professed today that thanksgiving is not just words of a day or a time or some moment, but a resolution. That henceforth, we will adore and serve the Lord, like Naaman and the one leper, with a resolution to live our lives as a thanksgiving to God. May the lives we will live henceforth be truly a gratitude, thanksgiving to God. And St. Francis is telling us always, let us now begin, and may he pray for us. Once again, thank you all. Asante Nyote, Amani Nasarama. Asante sana, Ndugu Alex kwa... Asante sana, Ndugu Alex kwa hutuba yanko. E, sasa ningependa kumuita mwakilishi wa wale ambao wanasherekea jubilee ya miaka 25 ya upadri naye ationgee hapa mbele mapofi anapo what can i offer to the lord what shall I offer to the Lord to make him happy? What shall I offer to the Lord to make him happy? What shall I offer to the Lord to please him? Kwanza kabisa, ningependa kumshukuru mungu kwa nafasi hii kufika miaka 25 wa upadri ambaye kukweli it has not been so easy ina mabonde na milima hata kuna wale wanakuchukia kuna wale wanakuita majina and with my brother we passed through that I thank God that God has made us still remain his priests. Bado sisi ni mapadri. Hatujakata tama. Na tunaomba Mungu atujalie tuendelee mbele. Pia ningependa kumshukuru Kustos ndugu wetu uh, Arnold kwa Nyewe kutulinda vyema usha umetembea nasi na you have always uh, guided us your advice and many others together with your counsel we thank you too for that and we also thank you brother Abbott for being gracing this occasion it is it makes us feel we are part of the benedictine we are going to heaven huh? asante sana Alafu pia ningependa kuwashukuru wazazi wetu 
kukweli some of our parents ndio tuliwaombea hapa but they gave us the chance to serve the lord we thank them wherever they are in heaven that they have really given us a chance to do that and we also thank members of our families our brothers and sisters wherever they are thank you thank you for receiving us back home whenever tukienda nyumbani hao wanatupokea na wanatupokea kwa heshima manake wanajua ile kasi tunayofanya and even friends we have so many friends some of them are here with us some are at home others could not come so we thank them also for that good relationship and even encouraging us at wakati mwingine wanatujipa moyo ili tusikate tamaa ndugu yangu Charles Njoroge nakupongeza sana eh wewe pia unanipongeza sio asante sana because it has not been easy by the way we were four one is a brother is in south africa called joseph sefuna his brother is working there another one whom we were ordained together called george oduo nyawira he died he died after just one year of priesthood he died maybe two years of priesthood five years, five years. after five years sorry so he died and we have to we remembered him we could have been also the jubilarian na sisi kwa hivyo wote mali popote alipo binguni mungu ampokee roho yake finalist eh huh? ninyi pia tunawapongeza it was very good to see you 13 of you mumeweka ile nadhiri za chuma sasa unaona umeweka meno ya chuma sasa unaweza kuuma mtu naomba msituume lakini it is good of you to say yes and please know that you have said yes before this congregation and may God continue to bless you then brothers in the order brother priests in the order kamrata you are there our brothers wote ambao ni washirika la Francisco Capuchin ningependa pia tungependa pia kuwashukuru kwa sababu you have given us an example in one way or the other sometimes whatever you did well has also encouraged us even sisi ni wazee lakini hata wazee wanaangalia vitendo vya vijana from analog digital game si ndio kwa hivyo sio analog ni useless sisi we are very important kwa hivyo mlituangalia ndio muka siulisikia ile mhubiri eh sawa santeni sana then my my brother priests from the diocese brother priests from other congregations eh I'm seeing my dean when I was in Nairobi he was here for the Manuel the parish priest of St Teresa I really thank him because when I talked to him sent him a card he said I would be come so thank you so much father and say thank you to the priests of the denary of Magdara for their uh, solidarity with me so brothers Thank you so much brother priests may god bless you religious brothers and sisters wherever you are sisters and brothers thank you also for your presence and always working with us i know we have interacted in one way or the other and you have encouraged us in one way or the other thank you so much thank you god bless you so much and all invited guests we also want to thank you for your presence here being with us encouraging us it has hii imetujipa moyo sasa sasa sitawacha nitaendelea kwa sababu i know watu wako na mimi mnatemea na mimi na you encourage me whenever i i go down wa kristu wote 
Wakristo wote kutoka Zimbabwe, Wakristo wote kutoka Kisumu, Masogo, Kogola, where I come from. They are here. Eh? Wakristo wa Kogola, hebu simameni kidogo. Wale wametoka Kogola. Eh, hey, wako. Eh, hey, kwa sababu kwa sababu kule ni mbali na walikuwa na shughuli nyingi hata parish priest could not he called me told me father I can't come but we are going to have another celebration at home na mtakuja wa kristo kutoka kakamega tuwashukuru sana kwa kufika wa kristo kutoka homa bay tuwashukuru bungoma kisi machakos nairobi na najua hata wa kristo wa ruiru wako wa chache sio Eh, wako wale wamekuja na wale wametoka Karinga wako eh? Eh, sawa sawa santeni sana karibuni sana god bless you abundantly i just want to say one thing then i finish please safari hii ndio sasa tumeanza hata kama tume celebrate 25 years it is just beginning na tunahitaji sala zenu tunahitaji in any way your support in any way na you are most welcome me personally baada ya hapa mwezi wa kumi we will end on 9th august na 9th august ndio mnafanya election sio kwa hivyo singe celebrate that day So nimeisukuma yangu ya nyumbani tarehe 14 mwezi wa kumi I hope mtakuja. Wangapi watakuja? Hao <laughs> watano peke yake. <laughs> Lakini najua hata kama utakuja utatuombea na mambo yaweze kuendelea vyema. Na kama mtarudi tafadhali Mungu awaongoze Mungu aufunike na kuwalinda mufike salama salimini thank you so much god bless you all asante sana ndugu jabedo sasa tunakaribia kufika kilele cha sherehe hizi kilele kwa wale ambao hawaelewi Kiswahili ni mwisho we are coming to the end of this celebration we go to the next step now samahani nili sahau ndugu yangu Charles Njoroge pia ako na mesa yake tarehe 13 mwezi wa septemba hapa Ruiru parish kwa hivyo mtakuja wangapi watakuja sita peke yake hapa sawa so, basi makofi kwa waimbaji makofi kwangu kwa sababu hao waimbaji kwa kweli wameba vizuri ama hawajaeba vizuri wameba vizuri mwalimu wao ni nani si nimesimama mwalimu wao ni nani Sema si ni wewe ni ndani Sawa sawa Ni mimi nikisaidiana na ndugu Charo Mimi natunga yeye anaenda kuwaimisha Kwa hivyo kama mkudola chape mtidhani atakuwa zipo kwa practice Sawa makofi sana kwenu kwa kweli tunashukuru sana uimbaji wenu ulikuwa mzuri e, ya mwisho kabla ni muite muhudumu ili hakuji kuongea tena niongea mno anakuja kutoa zawadi ya mwisho tuombeni chakula hicho kitoka hapa tuko sisi mnajua shirika letu inaitwaje eh lakini kabla kapu hii inaanza na nini eh inaanza na o f m oda oda o fatme sawa Ah ah ni order of Francisca ni order of France mine. 
Order of Friars Minor. Msije mkasema eh order of Friars Minor, order of Friars Minor. Lakini pia unaweza kuweka hiyo acronym. Kwa hivyo najua tunadai e, tusali kwa ajili ya chakula kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Mungu Mwenyezi tunakuomba uweze kuyabariki mapaji ambayo yameandaliwa ili kuweza kuonyesha upendo na umoja wetu tutakapo yatumia mapaji hayo tuweze kupata nguvu za kukutumikia vyema kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu kwa jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu mulumu karibu Kwanza nimekumbuka unajua tumefanya kibifaa sana eh ningependa kuwajulisha ndugu wa kapuchini ndugu wa kapuchini walioko hapa naomba ndugu zote wa kapuchini waweze kusimama wapungie wa Kristo mkono wengine wako kule ndugu wote wa kapuchini Unaangalia ati mkapuchini si ni wewe. All captains stand as uh, 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 wote wa kapuchini. Ketini chini. Kuna ndugu zetu wa Covetwani. Waona Francisco lakini not the original one so much. Baza <laughs> Kabata, mabrada Kabata. Uh, director of Consolata Seminary is a provincial. Provincial is not a popular school in Shirai. So, what happened to you? When you know who you are, you are going to make a boat. Brother, stand. Convention. They are there. Luguzetu in Gino, the Kule, or Conventual. OFMs, Pia, Luguetu in Gile, Pia, OFM, Hawa, OFM, Hawa. All of them, we are all brothers, first order. But we are living the real Franciscan vocation life. <laughs> well, they are just copying. <laughs> Next. The life, the life already, uh, the parish priest of King Ero is uh, also a brother from the Franciscan. The life and the brothers from the life community are there. Makofi <laughs> Kwao. We have the chameleon brothers, we have our brother from the chameleon uh, and we have our brothers from the diocese of Nairobi and other dioceses please you may stand up Machakos, Machakos they are coming from Machakos Nairobi uh, we also have our brothers from the Marian Hills Marian Hills Zimbabwe. He's a Zimbabwean. He has come. He is the parish priest of all these five Zimbabweans. He's from Zimbabwe. Most welcome. All the sisters, I've seen a lot of Franciscan sisters. I've seen some sisters from Zimbabwe, from uh, the Precious Blood sisters. You may stand and uh, wave to the people, all the sisters, wherever you are, please. All religious sisters. All of you, wait, I'm introducing people first. All of you who have gathered here to me, one of the poem. So, this one, Biamsi Mami. So, ya mwisho kabisa tungependa kuwashukuru eh Kapuchin TV ambao wame wanayapeperusha matangazo haya moja kwa moja katika runinga na katika mitandao ya kijamii runinga manake katika TV mitandao ya kijamii in the social media kama Facebook na YouTube hata sasa hii ukifungua YouTube utaniona mimi naongea live live <laughs> Tunawashukuru sana kwa e, e, kazi yao ya uenezaji wa injili
kupitia kwa vyombo vya habari e, tuendelee kuwa support yule pale atakuja kuongea na nyinyi zaidi tukimaliza misa e, asanteni sana for that and uh, our brother uh, Shumila and uh, our brother Waweru for the good work thank you very much nimemaliza kustos please oya maliza there is a photo after the newly professed the photo that that said yes tell them after we finish here the newly professed we head there for a group photo then for the meals kwa chakula all the priests mapadri wote na mabrada na masista na wazazi mabrada masista mapadri na wazazi tu hao wazazi 26 parents we shall get you through that main door we get inside the refectory The reason we are saying so is that our our refectory is also big that can accommodate all of us. We are we just live about 80 brothers so it can accommodate very few people. How are they going down? Chakula ni kile kile. Moto ni ule ule sifuria ni ile ile. Wengine nitaomba tutachukua chakula hapa hapa nje kuna sehemu mbili moja mbili. Ukipenda maji ya kuosha kuna bomba la maji liko hapa utanao mikono yako uchukue chakula we have a very good loan you can sit wherever you want and our loan is not only manicured but also imekuwa sprayed so you can sit wherever you want to sit tumeelewana thank you very much sasa wakati huu tuta wazawadi eh, kidogo hawa ambao wame wamefanya hii system katika maisha yao sisi kama shirika na nyinyi pia mnaweza kuwafanyia huko kwenu ukimaliza sawa sisi tunafanya kama shirika and they are all present the council members please stand that is the team that we work together the, the four of them including myself we are called the council members of the capuchins in our custody asanteni sana mungu wabariki we also have our secretary uh, the one who is the secretary for our capuchins in the order stand Brother Charles thank you 
All of you, asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki. My brothers, newly, or rather the ones who have made their final vows, courage, with God all shall be well. We stand and get the final blessing. Bwana we nanyi Bwana wabariki na kuwalinda Awaangazie nuru ya uso wake na kuwafadhili Awainulie uso wake na kuwa pamani yake. Amina. Na baraka yake Mungu Mwenyezi, ya Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu, iwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima. Great day.
today, not just uh, to the order of our friars, minor, the Capuchins, but uh, to also the entire Catholic family, uh, just in this country and uh, across the globe. And uh, as you heard, just it's been as uh, uh, such a pomp and color in the celebration of a perpetual profi- uh, profession of uh, 13 of uh, the brothers that they have now officially and perpetually uh, being enjoined into the Capuchin Friars fraternity. And uh, of course, it's not, not just being brothers to the Capuchin uh, members who are a part of the congregation, but also to the entire humanity because they have uh, really given up their life uh, to serve God and uh, humanity fully. We had uh, as eight uh, brothers from Kenya and uh, five uh, who are uh, the uh, from Zambia who have uh, uh, professed today perpetually to fully serve God uh, in their lives uh, and uh, right now it is time for a photo session as you can see uh, we had plans to speak to the custo and then uh, just a uh, two of uh, the brothers just to get a feel of uh, what how has it been how has the journey been as you had there are those who have been looking forward to this day for more than 10 years. Of course, others have been here for seven or eight years, as you heard from one of their formators, Father Charles Charo. But it is indeed uh, as, uh, patience, the kind of patience that is to be emulated. And uh, you can hear the voices. They have really stamped the day very well. Uh, they, this is the choir that is made up of uh, the sisters, the novitiates and postulants uh, of uh, the Messi sisters as well as uh, the Franciscan uh, brothers. Now right now, uh, dear viewer, i just like uh, to leave you with uh, the music uh, as I wait to get hold of uh, the Custos who, will going, who is going to tell us more about uh, this congregation. <laughs> Capuchin TV, your Catholic broadcasting ministry. Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 5106678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, 
or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Welcome to Trust, Compassionate House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near J. Quat, Campus Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, individual counseling, youth counseling, addiction counseling. We have psychosocial training. We also offer retreats. We have a hall that can be used for seminars and workshops. And we also have accommodation. We welcome all from far and near because the accommodation we offer, you will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself. Welcome all, because our prices are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaquant, current campus. You can call us on 0743878151 or 0711681400. Our email is counselingc442 at gmail.com. Tunawakaribisha nyote. Hii ni nyumba ambayo mutaweza kupona kiroho na kimwili. Mwakaribisha nyote kwa Immaculate Heart Psycho Spiritual Counseling Center, Karen. Karibu. The Parish Priest and Parish Pastoral Council of St. Benedict Parish, Raraka, have the pleasure to invite individuals and corporates for a special dinner that will take place on Friday, 9th September 2022 at St. Benedict Parish Grounds from 5 p.m. Proceeds go towards construction of a new church at St. Maura's Madare North Area 3. I wish to welcome all of you to come and partner with us to do this fundraising dinner towards construction of a modern church in St. Maura's place. This is in Madare Area 3. Welcome and be a part of us. We will be glad to have you to do the house of God. Thank you so much and God bless you as you plan to come. Thank you. The Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kwea is a leading chartered private international university located in Kenya. We enjoy a heritage of over 35 solid years of offering quality education grounded on values. The university has six faculties, two institutes and one center, namely Faculty of Theology, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, School of Business, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Science, Faculty of Law, 
Center for Social Justice and Ethics, Institute of Canon Law, Institute for Regional Integration and Development. Enroll today for September intake. Visit our website, www.cuea.edu, or email us on admissions at cuea.edu, or call us on 254-709-691-111. Quaya, for innovative and marketable graduates. Star Times brings you the most comprehensive family entertainment. Love, betrayal, and conspiracies on new Swahili drama series Fihi. Unscripted reality show Kupatana on Rembo TV. 2022 Women AFCON Finals on World Football from 2nd July. Kids Entertainment on Tsunami, ST Kids, and Nickelodeon. Turkish dramas on TDC Channel, Brothers Season 2, and When Love Burns on Novella E. Movies, documentaries, and latest news updates. For these and more, renew your Star Times Classic Bouquet on Aerial Decoder for just 899 shillings per month or Smart Bouquet. Okay, on satellite for 999 shillings. Jibambe on Star Times. CCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is open for applications for September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our college was established in 1991 and all along it has, uh, we have graduated uh, one, over 1,200 nurses who are working in our country and even outside country. And currently our college is offering more than 12 courses. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology, and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records, and Certificate in Social Work and Community Development. We also offer KCSE Bridging or NEC Receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for Diploma in Nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha Town. Our college is uh, situate, uh, situated in uh, North Kinangop, Nyandarua County, in the skirts of uh, Abadea Ranges. And it is at the next to North Kinangop Catholic Hospital, a place called Kwangodi. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 07804303312 or send an email to kec st luke's at yahoo.com you shall be my witnesses Capuchin TV.